So I am back at it today, man. We've got to find a place to establish ourselves, a place to call home, a place that is habitable. Because where we're at right now, it just it's just not fitting. It just... I don't want to be in a savanna biome, I don't think. And so began the treacherous journey. Oh boy, this thing just straight up crawled out of a tree. <laughs> that thing, the harpy straight up come out of this tree right here. Just out of nowhere. I mean, just look at this scene right here. Look at that rainbow. Man, I'm loving this. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. I found a village. Now, this village, I'm not going to... I'm not going to stay here by marking this. I'm actually... Oh, gosh. Another harpy. I'm actually going to utilize this waystone for when we find our place to settle down at. Aha! That's where those things are coming from. I have managed to find a plains biome, which is really nice because in this pack, a plains could do us well, especially if we plan on getting into mine colonies. That could help us out. And what is this? Oh, is this a stable? Well, this is nice. Oh, oh, what are you? Hey, what? Wow. So I'm very familiar with stables. Uh, there should be, let's see. Isn't there a little villager guy? Yeah, there's a villager trader guy right here who can really trade you a lot of cool things. I'm going to leave that for now. And I'm going to venture out and see does this expand so yeah this place is pretty nice i'm actually quite familiar I, I believe this is how you get to the skies mod the one that is has all this stuff here but when i turn around uh, um <laughs> what are you <laughs> um i, I i'm <laughs> i'm kind of weary about that one right there i uh, i don't know this the nice area and all, but uh, there's also this nice cottage here. Well, let's let's check the cottage real quick. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! Come on, come on out! Oh, are they are they under the? Ah, oh, there's one. I'm gonna get them. I promise. There we go. Ooh, wait, hold up. He dropped pork chop. Now this guy's special. Whoa, what is that? Ow. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Okay. That set me on fire for a good bit. He can hit me. Will it go out? It'll... Okay. Let's try this guy again. I'm going to get him. Got him. So after looting all of their stuff, I was able to make a backpack, and it's now time to head into the mines. So here it is, that cave that we were going to look at. Oh boy, I hope there's nothing like crazy bad here. All right, we got some skeletons. I did find a few arrows. Oh, this is still pretty difficult. The main arrow is really what matters. There we go, we got that bad boy. Oh! <gasps> Okay, this, this shielded. Oh no. Whoa, look at that glow. Okay, 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 no, 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 no. Woo, okay, this is, this seems like a bad, bad idea. I'm gonna try and eat some steak. Let's get some regeneration. Oh boy. Oh, it's shielded. What, how do you fight it if it's shielded? Oh, wait, maybe we're doing a little bit of damage to it. This is definitely a boss battle. <laughs> Unlike any boss battle. Oh, I got it. Something else is shooting me. And I think we can get it. And we got it. And it dropped a special item, so I definitely need to check this out. Oh, it dropped a book, an enchanted book. Is this a mine shaft? <gasps> we found an abandoned mine shaft. See something right there. My least favorite spooter. Oh, it's Fang's move. 
No, thank you. What are you doing up there? Is that really a creeper? What in the world? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get back. You fiend. You evil creeper. Oh my gosh. At least we're getting some kind of bags for this. Man, I couldn't imagine a mob farm would be insanely good as far as getting all this loot. Yes, we found the first minecart. Please have good loot in. Loot, 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 loot. What do we have? What is this? A midnight robe? So, Call of Shadows, 50% movement speed, the night vanishing. Highs, relic wearer. Place with a light level lower. Interesting. This goes on the back slot. So, where I currently have my backpack. Oh, wow. Look at this speed. Whoa. Okay. We've got to take this off for right now. I'll keep my backpack there for now. But if that's the speed that you get while traversing. Oh boy. Am I, uh, I, I'm in for, I'm in for a treat. Oh no, this can't be good. This cannot be good. I hear a witch. Oh, is that her? No, no. Thank you, witch. I need arrows. No. You will not regenerate. Oh, she hit me with a poison. No. This cannot be good. We didn't... Did we not take damage from the poison? <gasps> we didn't take poison damage. That's interesting. There is something making a terrible noise near me. I do not like that sound. It sounds like something crawling through the walls. Something's teasing me here in this world. With its sounds. Oh, no, no. Is it a spider? Oh, it's this. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This opens up to even more. That was a creeper. Oh, <laughs> that caught me off guard. There's so much. Oh, that's a special creeper. It's a skilled creeper, apparently. Not as skilled as I am. As you can see. I mean, we definitely need to play some stuff down. <gasps> Scared me. There's a dungeon? That leads me to believe that there's going to be other things here, potentially. Aha. Uh -huh. I love that I slow them down. Our armor is so cool. I'm not worried about that Enderman. So long as we... Oh, there's a roach. God, there's so much going on right now. Are we in some kind of ravine? Oh, I love these underground caves. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, <laughs> the jump scares. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. These guys are horrible. These guys are rough. Because when your hearts actually deplete, they actually deplete. Like... You don't regain them back. Oh, thank goodness they uh, drop enchanted books. All right, we're about to run out of torches. I think that was our last torch. These are glowing mushrooms. This is some kind of dungeon here. So, so there's definitely a spawner in here, but I might be able to get to this chest without the zombies bothering me. There's a chest like right there. I pop down. Aha! We can get a hold of it. There is something that is not a good sound. Just a swift swoop. And there we go. Okay. So I think I, I can get down to this. Luckily, our weapon has a really nice range on it. Should be able to get this chest as well from the other area. And let's hope there's something good on it. Okay. So we, we got a wild horn. Are there any more chests nearby? Aha! Just as I thought, there is. There's a lot of actually a lot of good stuff here. Inside this chest has a haunted bow, and then we have an ocelot vest. Interesting. I'm. Um, I think that's it for this area. I've 
we've got to get out of here. This is things are getting things are getting too creepy. On my way up, there's these massive doors. I thought I was done adventuring, but no. But I, I oh, there's a there's oh, it got me. Look at that. But there's arrows potentially in here. Yes. I could utilize some arrows, maybe swap this bow and try it out. I'm sure there's more to this. But it may have it may have ended. Oh. No, no, no. There's water. Okay. There's stuff here. There's drowned. Oh, it's a trident drowned. No. Oh, we got to get out of here. Oh, the trident boy. No. I am almost out of here. Almost. Is that a... That's... Yep, that's another minecart. Oh, yes. Oh, is there anything good in it? I mean, just your standard... It's basically your standard... Standard loot kind of in this right now. Uh, I'll take the spikes. I'll take this. The iron. Powered rails? I mean, I, I'll take them. I honestly have to say, that has been by far one of the coolest mine shafts I've been in. I don't, I mean, I love that mine shaft. That was crazy cool. So after exploring the underground for a bit, it was definitely time to head back, unpack, and get ready to explore some more. I want to check out this mushroom over here. I see there's a spawner. Aha. This could be bad. They have slimes on their heads. They also have a lot of help. Uh, arrows, though. Is this something that could be potentially farmable? Ooh, they shoot you with some really nasty arrows, though. Maybe there's already a way to get up here. We just need to do some parkour. <gasps> there's a chest. Awesome. It's got all kinds of goodies in here. Bunch of iron? Is there more than that, though? Was that all they, that's all that was being guarded? Was that tiny little chest? No way, there's gotta be more. Wow, no, that really seems like it. Now this, on the other hand, looks dangerous. Looks very dangerous. Oh boy. <gasps> oh, there are spawners in here. They were like turned off though. I'm going to break this one. What could this possibly be? I didn't know what to expect from this. This is basically turning a villager. Like curing a villager. We can we can actually do that here. Pretty easy. It gives us the gold apple. Might as well. Let's cure a villager. Get cured. We're going to be the hero today. And just like this, we're now a zombie doctor. Perfect. And you know what? Just to reward ourselves for that. Oh. Oh. Ooh, this area is pretty dangerous. I should probably be careful. Um, Just for that. Let's do this. And then this should turn into exactly a cleric and we can actually use this cleric like this is a, a pretty easy to get to cleric that's nearby oh boy yeah okay so there is some stuff up there huh what can i do i mean we definitely need some more torches Ooh, that Ooh, these are rough too because they they freeze you Maybe I can get up there. Oop, there's some spooters. Definitely stop that spawner from spawning. And then check the chest. A champion's helmet. Not bad. There's another spawner back here. Ooh, there's a fox hood. That's part of that fox set. Oh, these guys. I don't want to get it with... I don't know if I can be affected by poison, to be honest. Ooh, that bag looked awesome. An ender bag? Let's see. What is this? A golem kit? That's pretty cool. 
We need to go up one more. Oh, there's several spawners right here, but this is diamond. Gold and a block of emerald. Okay, these, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we were able to stop the spawners because this is rough. This is crazy right here. All right, well, that was fun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's all these loot chests. Oh, this is something. We've got to go through this loot after we clear it. Oh, no. Oh, there was an eye in there. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're looking good now. This is... This was a good find for sure. So just looking at this one right here, Golem Kit summons an iron golem to aid you in battle? Uh, what? Yes, this one hits up to seven nearby mobs with elemental status effects, struck by lightning, frozen, or set ablaze. These are insane. I've got to see what this iron golem does. Oh my gosh. That's super powerful. It says it has a cooldown. We can pull them back to us. That, I mean, the Iron Golem is like an incredibly powerful mob. So having it to aid us in battle at all times. I mean, here's another one of those towers. So this could be the perfect chance to test this out. Except for there's some of these golems over here. Let's get this guy out. There we go. Get him. Look how powerful that is. That's insane. The fact that a golem can just fight for us. I mean, I wonder what happens. When, I mean, when it dies, it's going to die, right? Well, at least we know there's good loot inside these, uh, these buildings. So I'm going to definitely hit this one up. This is just pure insanity. I, just, there's so much stuff. Oh yeah, I'm like I'm grabbing everything that I can possibly get my hands on. And like the iron golem? We just bring the iron golem in here. Let's see. Let's get the iron golem. Look at this! He just destroys anything. What is this? Oh, corrupted beacon. This, if I remember, requires the souls. That's an insane weapon, or at least it was in Minecraft Dungeons. What? A Frost Slayer, 13 damage. The, things are getting a little out of hand. So after a long journey, it was time to head back to the base and unload things. Just take a look. My mighty sword. Oh boy. <laughs> and we also have all kinds of cool gear that's on right now. Like, uh, this whole chest is now filled with like all kinds of artifacts. There's all kinds of stuff. Like, this thing heals you. I mean, this thing puts regeneration down. This is baby crossbows. Like, a dual-wielding cro- Like, I, I don't even- I don't even know how this works. Like, do I need- I need arrows, right? Dual- It shoots two! Yeah, I mean, that's wicked. I mean, it looks awesome in our inventory as well. Man, a lot of work went into this mod. It's absolutely insane all of the work that went into it. But we do have these two bags. Might as well open that. That give us an ender pearl and this give us gives us a bunch of uh, food. Like you can't beat that. I mean, I'm running out of storage space and we have an iron golem that fights for us. I think, I, I think we're prepared. I think we're getting a lot more, a lot more prepared to be able to go adventure out into more places to definitely find bigger and better things. And we should, I think next episode probably gets started with uh, some other... Oh, oh, under, other interesting things. Get them. Get... No, get them. Get them. Oh, boy. Why is he not... He's not getting them. I'm still pretty weak to fire. There we go. We got him. <laughs> These guys drop enchanted books, which is kind of crazy. Knowledge of the ages. That's an that's a really nice enchant as well. It gives you experience instead of items. But anyways, I think that I think it's now time to uh, thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to be a huge thanks. That is going to go to Austin Ellsbury. Thank you so much for your amazing support. 
over on Patreon, absolutely going above and beyond killing it over there on Patreon. I know we look like an absolute mess, but guys, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon, of course, you can find that linked down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a huge thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next episode, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.